Hey hey, it's Scott Norris here from virtualizeme.net.au uh, here today to look at importing Azure machines and metrics into Virialize Operations Manager. So first off, let's have a look at the machines I have in Azure. So you can see I've got three, but two of them belong to my ultimate subscription, which is what I'll be targeting today. We've got VROPS metric 0102. So let's have a look at my VROPS. We should be able to see from our open API, Azure machines. There's my two machines there. Let's have a look at the metrics. And we see I've just got some basic metrics coming in and they're the points at which I've imported data. So let's uh, have a really quick look. Uh, more will be on my blog post, uh, details on the scripts we can have a look at the script. So essentially what we're doing here is let's go to our flow. So essentially what I've got here, uh, which is all available to download from my blog, is I've got a subscription login, I've got the password for that, I've got my PowerShell host and my PowerShell script, which is what I'm running uh, to grab the metrics and the machines out of Azure. So obviously you require the PowerShell with the Azure plugin. And we have a look at our schema here. So what we're doing here, just really quickly, is we're preparing the arguments. So here we join the arguments together based on subscription ID, password and our logon. So we only need the three things and this is fully transferable to your environment, my environment, anyone's environment, as long as it's uh, ARM, not ASM. So we look at an invoke script. So here we're just calling that script that we had. And then what we do is we use the output of that and we create a properties file, an array of properties, and this is fed into uh, a reusable uh, objects that I've created in, Vir in uh, Virilize Orchestrator. And in here, if we have a look, is these ones. The add metrics, the add properties, and the add uh, resources to VROPS. So these all take the same properties, and they all work relatively well together. So we can have a look at a, a health one. Uh, here we can see we PowerShell, we do up our properties, we feed it in, we grab the token, then we go uh, VROPS, and add metrics. So this is reusable for any metrics or custom metrics that you want to put into Virilize Operations Manager uh, in this instance. But here we're just doing a for each because it will be an array. So I do a for each of our add resources. I do a for each to add metrics. And in the end I do a for each to add properties. So if we have a look in here, I put together the properties and I'm not going to go into detail of how this the JavaScript's put together here but this puts together uh, we can see here that it's in a specific uh, thing so we've got resource name which is the name of the Azure VM in this case we've got the resource key so that's the Azure VM so that's the type what's the type of object that I want in here so Azure VM we have our adapt adapter key which is open API which is what we use to put metrics in and then we've got uh, a description this can be anything I just call it Azure VM then what we do is we put together a bunch of metrics so we can see we got name CPU average we grab the value from the properties that were returned from our PowerShell uh, and then I set metric true which this means is that then separates out which ones are metrics and which ones are properties so that goes through that submits quite a few and then at the end here we can see subscription so I actually place the subscription name onto it as a property so then we can group uh, VMs, Azure VMs within Virilize Operations Manager into groups uh, belonging to certain subscriptions, uh, which is handy. So, and I've also got in here uh, just a, a template of how uh, the properties file should be put together. And as long as it fits this style going in there, you can put any metrics using uh, these bunch of workflows that I'll provide to you today. So, what we'll do is we'll go in here and we can run this and we see here this is just takes a subscription ID so I've had multiple ones as long as I could use the same 
account. I'm going to hit submit. We'll see that will go off and do its thing. So while that's doing that, what we might do is go and grab our Zua. So what I want to do is create a new machine here. So we can see it, add that in. Windows Server. Okay, so that's deploying there. We'll wait for that. We'll go back to... We can see that's selected there. And we see we print out a bunch of stuff here. We can see it's printing as metrics here. So let's go back to our operations manager now if we hit refresh there there we go we've got a new one there so that's when I've run it and that'll be for disk as well so a bit networking in and out so these are very basic metrics now we can change this have a look at the script so this script is 100 percent reusable all it requires is a scription ID a password um, and the subscription login and we can see uh, it's very basic script uh, it just runs through it does subscription uh, obviously that's where it creates the creds and we've got a bunch of metrics that we're collecting now there is more metrics in this you can go in here and add additional metrics um, I find that the metrics aren't that great they're like from AWS they're not uh, very granular so obviously things like adding a, a epops or a hyperic agent to then link with these objects uh, is a lot more beneficial gives you more fine grain metrics and we can see that that adds everything and yeah everything's sweet so this script is also available on my site now let's have a look see if that is created yet alrighty that are VROPS metrics 03 machine has been created now one thing we need to make sure of if you want the metrics to be returned by the API you do have to make sure that the diagnostics have been set now you can set this one while creating it or you can set it afterwards so it has to be on if it's off the API where we return metrics. So now that's on there, let's go to here. Let's run this again. So as we can see here, prepares the arguments. It invokes the script. So at the moment it's running the PowerShell script on the Virilize Operations Manager PowerShell host. Oh, sorry, the Virilize Orchestrator PowerShell host. Too many Virilizers. Then from that output, we generate an array of properties that we want to feed in. And this should be of three machines that it comes back with. Then we get a VROPS token that'll then be used for authentication to Virilize Operations Manager. Then we add the resources. So when we look into here, it will actually attempt to add the resource. If it comes back saying error 422, it means that the object already exists in Virilize Operations Manager. So then we search for it, and that way we can get the identifier for it. There we go, bang. Got it all back. Uh, so let's just dive into that so then hops into this one it'll go in here it'll ask it'll we'll put together out of the properties we'll give it the resource name uh, description and then we'll uh, stringify it then we'll send that off as a request now if that comes back as 442 means that it already exists if not it actually returns uh, the payload and in that payload we have our identifier so what we then do is then we add the identifier to that property that we already have. So we're just making an, an extra addition to it and we give our response.identifier. So then we output that. Now if that by any chance 
did already exist, it comes over here and then we search for it. So when we search for the uh, property, we have similar thing. Uh, we search by adapter kind, so our open API, and we search by the name. So because you can have multiple names existing across Virilis Operations Manager, and then that will actually return our identifier. Then we add our, our, add our identifier to the object property, just like if we created it, and then we return that. So that's how we then feed into our add metrics. So we have our add metrics there. Same thing. We go through here. We create our timestamp. We do only if the metric equals true, which means it's a metric, so that's what we want to do. And we go in and we add the identifier. And basically for each stat, add it in. So that just goes through here, pushing the stat. Then it moves on and goes to the add properties. So the add properties is exactly the same thing as add stat, except it chooses for metrics false. And then we add our property and that goes through and adds the property in. Now hopefully, since that ran successfully, we've got a bunch of output there uh, in Virilis Operations Manager. We should have a new Azure VM. There it is. Metric 3 and it should have our one dot, it's not exactly working very hard there. Got power so we know if it's powered on. Now we can use these things like powered on, we want to see how many uh, Azure machines are powered on and powered off, we can create custom groups from that. Um, so we can see uh, in and out and they're all working fine. So this way um, you can add three, you can add 300 boxes in uh, and if it runs on a schedule you'll constantly get the metrics updating. Now obviously you can do the reverse, we can delete metrics if they've been deleted uh, but that can be another video. Alright, cheers!